and it is Mystery Box Monday. Oh yeah, got another one in it. I think it's the heaviest one I've ever got. Oh, here it is, $2 mystery box from the mission. And I have not even opened it yet. Excuse me. It's real heavy. All right, let's open this bad boy up and see. See what we got. Open the box, open the box, gonna see what we got in the box. Open the box, I'm opening the box, this is my opening the box music. Alright, it's really taped. There we go. Alright, we'll see the CDs like I did last time. It's full of CDs. Excuse me, that was me. All right, I'm gonna give you a look at the top. This is, looks like on top, some electronic looking stuff on the top. Okay, first off I see, it says Black and Decker, and it is crusty. It is dirty, sandiness looking. Black and Decker Gizmo? I have no clue. Let's see. Let's take this thing out of here. I guess you can put like, a, I guess it's like a little household little drill. It has a place to put it on charge. And it looks like it has a place to put a drill bit. So I'm assuming this is maybe like to hang pictures or do light stuff into the house. I don't know. I'd have to put char charge it or I don't know. See what it does. So a Black and Decker gizmo thingamajigger. All right. Yeah, I, I think that was probably like where the drill bits were and are not anymore. Okay. We have, I believe this is like a baby monitor. Yep, it's like the camera right there. The antenna. And this looks like, these are not the same name brand. This is by Summer. This is by Jerry. That's what you listen to. Ever been, I've looked, cause I clean houses. So I've been <laughs> in people's houses where they have these set up. And then you can like hear someone talking in the room and you can like eavesdrop. Yeah, that's pretty good to do that. <laughs> Some cordless phone action, which I have not used. A cordless phone. This is the dock. And that in a million years. I think the last time I used it, I didn't even know how to turn it on and off to dial. Isn't that sad? What we've become all everybody just has cell phones now. So here is cordless phone. And I believe, I mean I got the whole jackpot here of it. This is an answering machine, I believe. No. Correction. This is a wireless broadband router. There we have it. I thought they were gonna charge two dollars just for that. Got the whole box with it. Another cord to who knows what. Just an adapter. This is for internet. That was gonna be just five bucks. It's like really? Hook up your internet. Was a mouse? Not a real mouse. If there was a real mouse in this box, yeah. HP mouse. I believe this is another. No, this is a plug. Another like adapter thing for a computer. It says Samsung. Your random cords and things. It's another adapter. We are gonna be able to adapt to just about anything. 
says a plug-in class 2 transformer. There you have it. Alright. There is a CD down there. I see one now. The Airwicks. Is that two of them? Yeah. Hang one up in the bathroom and have freshness. Freshness. It's like what they have in public bathrooms. Like at the mall. Oh, mind my coughing husband. Sounds like he's dying in there. Um, oh, bubbles. Wedding bubbles. These are the same bubbles that I had at our wedding 16 years ago. I mean, these are clearly the exact same. And I believe there's another pack down here. Look, several. Oh my gosh. Wait. We are going to be some bubble blowing fools. There could even be more down there. There are four packs of these bubbles. Someone having a wedding? Let me know. I got bubbles for you for days. These are 12 pack ones. Yeah. The bubble business. Okay. Here's two CDs. We have here Tom O'Neill sings the Golden Classics. Oh man. What a wonderful world. Just a little loving. Room full of roses. I I think I know what a wonderful world, but I haven't heard of the other one. For the good times. Hello, walls. Well, hello, walls. Walk on by. City lights. Loving you. Are you lonesome tonight? The wonder of you. Everybody loves some somebody sometimes. After the loving, the green, green grass of home. Daddy's little girl. Danny boy. America the beautiful. Oh, man. Is it in there? And it is in there. And there is a glorious picture of him right there. Tom O'Neill. Sings the golden classics. Where else can you get such a CD? In a mystery box. Oh, not just one today. For the price, the pr one price, you get two of Tom O'Neill sings Elvis the early years. Always me, don't. It's now or never. Are you lonesome tonight? He loves that song. Crying in the chapel. Mama liked the roses. If every day was like Christmas and precious Lord and look at him there. He is drawn kind of <coughs> to the highway and never look back at that. Yes. Yes. Okay. There is a big box here. Oh. And these look to be tapas? Tapas? How do you say that? Bowls? What is that word? T-A-P-A... T-A-P-A-S? I've heard of that. Let's give it a look. This was $12.95. Oh! It's just a little... That was $12.95? <laughs> For these little... They look like ashtrays. These look like a miniature ashtray and a bigger ashtray. And it has two books I guess to make this stuff all these little dishes has like recipes so a little recipe book of 40 delightful Spanish dishes and then holiday recipes book alright some $12 ashtrays is what it looks like to me we've got some police mats that are very yellowed and dirty looking <laughs> some crusty stains from thanksgivings long long ago some spilled tea and coffee and god knows what god knows what <laughs> god knows what that is on there Oh. oh my, here's the front, 
the old classic grapes and fruit that everyone's grandma has had on their table. Yeah, that. He's a crusty. Yet, we had four bubbles before. We have six now. Here's two more of the bubbles. We, we've got it. We're going to be wedding planners here before you know it. Here's the little dish. And it, you can hang it up. And it totally says here on the back, the art of choking. Yeah. No lie. Right there. The art of choking. Well, I don't think I want to eat off of this plate. Maybe that's why you hang it on your wall so you don't choke. I'm not very sure. It is made in Japan. It says metal engravings from Japan are created by the ancient art of choking. Maybe that's a person's name. Choking, but not choking like <laughs> choking. Yeah. Not a very good name for a plate, though, I would say. Gilded with gold and silver. Is it real gold and silver? Hmm. <laughs> the engravings were originally created to decorate the ornament of the samurai warriors. Okay. Might have something a little there. I don't know. I will have to check that out and see. What about the art of choking? Be careful when I look, when I type that into Google. Yeah, you never know what's going to come up. We got a little cute little picture frame for a baby girl. That is cute. Still got the little tag on it. That is neat. Holiday picture frame ornament. Oh, I guess you can hang it. You can hang it on the tree if you wanted to. For the first first baby picture, I could really put uh, Rosie's picture in there and hang it on the Christmas tree when she's a baby. How cute. Okay, another gizmo gadget, a mobile monitor transmitter. I mean, before too long, all these mission, uh, mission boxes, from the mission, mystery boxes. I'm going to have a whole setup for like a hospital and, I mean, I'll be able to, like I said, to add that to my life support thing, which I found out the last one, it was a nebulizer, but, you know, I have no clue. No clue what this is supposed to do um this is electric flash this is by cam this is like for a camera or it is a camera <clears throat> yes it is in its little pouch and it is the flash that goes on a bigger camera Cool. And it looks like it has never been used. It looks brand new. I'm sure it's the, it's old. I'm sure it's a camera. But, you know, I don't know. Some people may still use that for the camera. Too bad I don't have a big old fancy camera. And I can see there's some more cameras down in here. Yeah, this is brand new, still in the box. That was that. We have here part of whatever was hanging on there. Just stuck it down in there just in case I needed that. Okay, this is other parts too, but there's some random things down in here. I may have a drill bit, maybe. This is the lens cap to a cannon. Random piece to who knows what. We have the Le Chateau from from Tinac. Oh, I don't know. Hotels in Canada. Um, I'm sure this is matches. No, 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 no. It is chocolate, and it is old, 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 old piece of chocolate from a hotel in Canada, and it made its way to me in a mystery box. There we have it. There we have it. 
And yet there is another one from the Ritz Carlton dark chocolate. I don't think I will be indulging in those. And another one from the same place. Somebody must have collected these. And then the milk chocolate one from the Ritz Carlton. <laughs> so if you like milk or dark, got you covered. Okay, this is another flash for a camera. Let's pull it out. See what it looks like. Yep. Just to a different type of camera. Be able to just be like photographers. See? I have the bubbles for the wedding and then I'll be able to take the pictures. See this. I see this happening. Um, here's the lens cap to that camera. Here is safety plug thing for a plug and it's all down in this box right here. No, I thought this was a drill bit for that thing, but it is a makeup brush. Kind of a weird looking makeup brush. And then there are random batteries that I don't know if they work or not. It was all down in this box. It's a mystery. Okay, and here are some cameras. Here is the Freedom Zoom. Look at this duker. <laughs> oh man, it's even got some duct tape. Yes, you gotta love that. An RB one. Wow. I mean, that is not it. This, this one. I think I had one that was like this. I totally, totally remember. Okay, then there are. Oh wow, there's two of these. This is a Skinny Mini 360 to hold an iPad. These are brand new. There's two of those. Put your little iPad in there and set it up like that. That's pretty neat. Not sure what these originally cost, but I'm sure more than $2. Um, getting down to the bottom here. Last few, last few items. Yes! All right. Yes. Okay. And then, of course, camera bag holder that you can hook to your fanny pack and have on you. Little bag there. And then some scrapbooking stuff. Poster stickers. Eleven colorful self-adhesive stickers. I love stuff like this. So I love doing crafts. And there's two of these. I like those. I have to say this. This worth two bucks to me. So I'll use these. I will use these. I like it. All right. That was the mystery box. Let me show you what I also got that was not was not in the mystery box it was in the store I got these for 25 cents these are good to put in um, the kids lunch and they're cute I always like to get decorative napkins usually get in the dollar store but 25 cents is even better and they're closed up no crust on them also got this for myself, I think this was a dollar. Had a rack of clothes for a dollar. Can I beat that? And it is, I guess it could be like a dress or an over vest type thing. And um, if I can get a hold of it, right? And then here's the bottom. It's got like a little design on it. Thought it'd be cute for in the summer. And it is a smaller size. So hopefully then in the summer, since I am trying to lose weight, um, be able to wear that. I think that is so cute. 
And then last thing that I got, I love, I like birdies. Well, this bird, isn't he really cool? Kind of eclectic, made from, this looks like a, duh, a handle, like a knob, like off of a cabinet. And then just other metal pieces welded together. Isn't that cute? And I did pay $2 just for him. But I really liked him. <coughs> Footage. Yeah, you thought that was it. But I had forgotten that I had bought this from the mission um, a while back. And I have not dove into it. It is kind of a mystery bag, which you can see in there, of brooches and maybe um, pins and brooches and random pieces of jewelry, I guess. And I did pay, barely see it there, $2 for this whole little bag. So let's look and see what is in here. I love that store. It's really great. It goes for a really great cause. And the guy that runs it is, like, the pastor of, um, whatever church it is. I guess I should know what church it is, but do I? No. Just call, I guess, Crossroads. Crossroads Church. I don't know what denomination they are. Um, but it's just Crossroads Missions Thrift Store. And I love it. Love it. Alright, there's all kinds. Let me get them all out, and then I'll put the camera on it so you can kind of see it goes through all of it. All right, let me show you. Here is all of it out. All these little thingy thingies. If I can get the camera right. <laughs> okay. Sorry about the laundry basket in the back. It is also a laundry day as well on Mondays. Okay, we have a pin here. This is so 80s like. It totally reminds me of well, the 80s and probably 90s. It's not even open. Let's open it up. Things aren't meant to stay in bags. Totally. I mean, one of the little swirly swirl, flashy swirly brooch, maybe on a scarf. Wow. Lay all this out here. This will be great for Easter. A little chunky face bunny. Totally cute. I just might wear that Easter Sunday. Whatever. I love it. That belonged to R. Green. R. Green. Are you green? There's some patches in here. A little bear. A little old school bear. A heart. It's another heart. There is a, ooh, there was star, an orange one, a uh, blue one. It's hard to get my hand on it. I think there was a yellow one too. Yep, and a yellow one. Stars and stripes, and the eagles fly. One of those. I think the yellow ribbon means. Quote me if I'm wrong. Don't quote me if I'm wrong. Um. Waiting for someone to return. It's in service, I believe. A little flag there somewhere. Um, there's another patch, like for a school teacher, I guess. The apple. This is so cute. Oh, there's a music note. That's for me. A little music note patch. Gosh, that would be really. I guess it could go. I might put that on one of my little bags. Used to do patches all the time when I was young. Here's a little bear cherub. That would have been cute for Valentine's. It's a pin. Here's a little snowman. Aww. Sometimes I really do like um, wearing these for certain holidays or whatever. I'm a dork like that. Whatever. Here's another snowman. It says snow happens. <laughs> Another one for Easter, so homemade goodness right there. Where else can you get something like that? I'm sure someone made that. That is so cute. They got every holiday in here. Here's Thanksgiving. 
the harvest bountifulness. Oh, another one for a teacher. Could probably put that on one of Rosie's teacher's like gifts I give her or whatever. A little apple. Here's another star. Cause I'm a star. <laughs> Here's a little snowman, and it says, if I can hold these, they're so small. It says Jesus, if you can see that. It says Jesus on there. Another snowman. Somebody likes snowmen. A little old school looking little snowman. His face is barely there, his little mouth. Gown. Another snowman. You could almost put that on a necklace. That's probably what I would do. But it probably was on something else for like a scarf. One of those things you put on a scarf, I bet. Here is, oh, this says National Home Gardening Club, China. <laughs> I could be like, yeah, I won my award. It's a random circle. To put on a um, necklace. And I think there's two of these. Yep. These could be made into earrings. Just little. There's two of these. I have the right way to hold it so you can see it. So here we go. This. There are two of those. Put my hands out of the way. Awkward. <laughs> You totally could. Mike some earrings out of that. Another teacher thing. It says teacher's aid. I could be like, yep, yeah, I'm a teacher's aid. That sound is from my washing machine. This is nice. I like this. Very vintage looking. Look at that. That is really nice. I like that. It does have a this really, really tiny little hole for a necklace. Here's a little bow, and it's the kind that snaps. Go in the baby's, a little baby girl's hair. So cute. Wow, totally old school right here. It's for your scarf, to hook onto your scarf. Very cute. This one is very, very cute. It's a pin. This goes with the Thanksgiving one. It's little pilgrims. Little pilgrims. There's another bear. He's got a little love letter. It's a random teardrop that I think went to something else. And then these, these are definitely like for scarves to put the scarf through. I think that's like, looks like little flowers on there. Here's another thing. It could have been for a necklace or, or a scarf. This is like like what the Red Cross used to wear. I don't know if they do the pins like this anymore. You really don't see pins like that. It's kind of older school. Those hurt if you don't get them in right. Like, stab. It's a homemade snowman. Popsicle stick. Or like a little spoon you eat the ice cream out of. Or tape, taste test the ice cream or whatever. Eating all the flavors. There's the little bunny. He's cute for Easter. Here comes Peter Cottontail. Hopping down the bunny trail. Hippity hoppity. Easter's on its way. Yeah. And the little duck to go with it. Look at him. If I can get a hold of him. <gasps> little quackers. Little quackers. Cute. Here's a little thing. 
I've seen these before like on purses or even those old hippie like broom skirts they would hang from I have seen something like that before all right almost there here is another bear and it says bestest mom totally says bestest Here is 1994 Dialysis Clinic Seasons Greetings. I'm sure it was a gift they gave out at the Dialysis Center. I probably have some dead old ladies brooches, pretty sure. This bunny has a friend. There's two of them. Comes the Peter Cottontail. Yeah. I need help sometimes. Okay, here is a bear. This is HH. Not really sure what that stands for. I've kind of seen that somewhere before, but not ringing a bell. Okay, this is really neat. Ooh, um, this looks really old. Looks like a cameo face. You can see the face in there. And it has a little hole to put it like for a necklace, I believe. And it is like clay. It's not really ceramic, but it's, I think it was made out of clay. And somebody probably just stamped that in there. It has no other markings on it. So I don't know how old it is or if it's just something someone made or, I don't know. Pretty neat though. Could be old, could be really old. Could have a gym there, I don't know. I have to say this is my favorite piece that I would probably wear. Um, and it has a loop that you can put it through a necklace. And it's like the blown glass look. Look at that. I really like that a lot. This was worth the whole thing right here to me because I like that. Look how thick that is. That will be really pretty. I use a necklace. Look at that. It's magnificent. Like it. Love the purple. That is my birthstone. I was born in February and I love that. Okay, and these are neat too. This reminds me, which this is probably, oh, and it is. Okay, let me show you real quick. These are Vacation Bible School, excuse me, Jesus, Vacation Bible School pins. VBS, that's what VBS means. If you did not grow up in church, that means Vacation Bible School. And that is our sweet Lord Jesus, the Savior on there. And it's this type of pen. Look at that. They do not make them like that anymore. And it has the date. Um, this says Standard Publishing Picture 1976. It says it right on here. Very small. That is really cool. That is a treasure right there. But you cannot find this stuff anymore. And this one, the pen goes up like that. And this says, He cares for you. 1 Peter 5, 7. That is right. He sure does. Um, and it does not have the date. But I am sure um, it is the same date as that. That is cool. All right. Hey, everyone. That concludes this week's mystery. No. Miss. Oh, I forgot how I said it. Mystery Box Monday. <laughs> I hope everybody uh, has a really good rest of this Monday, what's left of it. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button down below. You don't want to miss any of these silly treasures that I find. and um, Or my weight loss journey that I upload every Friday and I sing every Sunday. And sometimes I put my thrift store hauls on here and go on some crazy little adventures here and there. And I want you to be a part of it. And I'm really close to hitting that 100 subscriber mark. Like five away. Five more people. And then I'm going to do a 100 subscriber giveaway. Oh, yeah. So you don't want to miss it. So plus, plus, 
And who wants to miss me, like, not being able to talk all the time? You don't want to miss that either. So that will make you want to press the button right away. All right, everybody. Take care. See you Friday. Friday. I don't know how I missed this one, but I cannot leave this one out. This one was just too good. I love Bill. This is amazing. I mean, who's Bill? And why did they stop loving Bill? And so they gave it away? Was it Bill Clinton? Was it Bill? I don't know. What Bill? Bill, are you out there? Why did they stop loving you and they gave your beloved pen away? They did not love Bill anymore. Well, guess what? Put this on. Bill, wherever you are, Bill. I love you, man. Oh. Ow. Not anymore. Not anymore, Bill. Ow. <sighs> Not anymore. This is probably why they gave it away. Oh my gosh. Bill. Billy Bill Bill, wherever you are, I don't know if you feel the love anymore, Bill, but here's the pin that was supposed to show the love for you. I now have it, so I guess it's my duty to love Bill. Wherever you are, Bill, I will try to love you and forgive your pin for stabbing the bejesus out of me.